Debugging and error handling in uh, SSI's 2012 integration services. In this video, I'll talk about SSI's catalog lagging, which is new lagging method in uh, introduced in SQL Server Integration Services 2012. I'm Rosara, SQL Server MVP, author, and trainer. Um, uh, SSI's catalog is actually a, a kind of a repository for storing SSI's packages and projects in the new deployment uh, model, which is project deployment model. So all the project would be, uh, so all a single SSI's project would be related to each other, all projects in that uh, uh, SSI's project and deployed into the SSI's catalog. SSI's catalog is actually a SQL Server database in um, which uh, uh, all packages and logging information and operations, all that sort of things will be stored there. Uh, logging uh, is quite easy uh, with SSI's catalog because it has a GUI for setting up the logging. You don't need to enable or disable logging in the development time. It's all happen in the execution time and um, you can do that easily in the production environment or any other environments. There are four levels of logging. And there are a list of uh, SSRS reports, built-in SSRS reports that you can use for catalog reporting for the logging. Uh, the four levels of logging uh, are as uh, you see here. The non do not log anything, basic just log an error and some warning and on information uh, events. Performance just log an error and on warning. The reason is that this will not use that much space and that much uh, resources for logging other um, not that much critical um, events. And Verbus actually is logging everything. So if you are logging uh, everything with Verbus, this is quite good, but you need to be careful about the um, resource consumption, the amount of uh, lagging that will be added, the load of lagging that will be added to your package execution. Um, as a sample, I just show you a sample SSI package that we used in previous video as well. Uh, this project, uh, this is a SSI 2012 project, so I can just simply right click and deploy. You cannot do this kind of deployment if you are in SQL Server 2008 R2 or previous versions. So I just deployed this from here. When I deploy that, I can deploy that to an SSI catalog. Uh, previously, we uh, have, we actually uh, enabled the SSI catalog in this server which is uh, a node here in this uh, management studio integration services catalog and SSI's DB here. So when you create that SSI's catalog, it's just simply you can right click and create catalog and just set a password and create that one. When you create the catalog, then you can simply just set a path here. You can create a new folder or something like that. I just uh, deployed this to uh, the same uh, location or you can create another location and deploy that. When you deploy the project it will create an uh, ispeg file from the current packages and project and then deploy that ispeg file into the destination which is SSI catalog. So as you can see deployment is quite easy. When I deploy that I can come to my integration services catalog and I open my SSI DB projects under under each folder I have projects and environment. Uh, and if you want to know more about the environment, environment is just a kind of a variable configuration for different environments. For example, you can have a variable configuration for production, another for UAT, another for dev. Uh, if you want to know more about the environments and uh, uh, how to use this, just uh, have a look on SSI catalog in the deployment uh, video series. And uh, here under the project, we will see the project itself and the packages. So when you execute a package, let's say, for example, we want to execute this one. When I want to right click and execute this package in this tab here, in the advanced tab, uh, you can see that we can set the 
lagging level. This lagging level, as you can see, uh, supports those four levels of lagging. By default, it says basic, and that default coming from uh, SSIS DB configuration here. So in SSIS DB properties, it has a default lagging level on the server side, which is basic. If I change this to performance, this will lag performance by default for everything. So I can also change that here. I go back to execute and into advanced. I change lagging level to verbose. For this example, I want to lag everything. And I hit OK. When I hit OK, this package starts execution. And uh, at the execution, it will uh, has an operation ID, which will be assigned to it. And then that uh, operation ID uh, will be it can be used uh, for lagging purposes, and we can uh, have a look on reports that use those operations ID. So I can have a look at the reports. So here I can see that the package executed successfully. These are messages that produced by the package and list of tasks and. Uh, information about that. If I want to have a look at all messages about this, I can go to the view messages and this shows me uh, lagging information that happened during the package. If I scroll down, this will load more lagging data and it has quite useful information about the package. If I got a failure, it will show me that failure and I can do a troubleshooting here. There are different um, reports here that you can use. If I right click on SSIS DB under reports, I can uh, go to the standard reports and choose integration services dashboard. Into the integration services dashboard it, here, it shows me a dashboard uh, of um, operations that are running at the moment, the package executions that are running or uh, connection validation that are running and those that uh, has been run previously. This shows that this was successful. Uh, there are also some links to, for example, operations that has been done, connections, executions. For example, if I go to operations, it says that there was some kind of operations, deployment of project, execute, again, deployment and execute. It was succeeded, all of them and the uh, date and time and that sort of information. So it's quite good. Uh, you can also go to other um, built-in standard reports like all execution that uh, we had a look previously and the messages of that execution. So this are, these are quite good uh, kind of lagging information, especially for um, administrator of the server to understand what happened on that SSIS package and that sort of information. But what happened in the code behind? When we create an SSIS catalog, an SSIS DB database would be created under the databases. So here you can see that SSIS DB. That SSIS DB contains lots of uh, tables, for example, for packages, for folders that we create in, <coughs> uh, for folders that we create in SSIS DB, for execute tables and lots of views that can be used. Uh, you can even create your own reports or query against the, these tables to get some data. For example, here we have a query. I just closed these tabs. For example, here I have a query select from a view, which is catalog.operations. When I execute that, it shows me operations that happened, the operation type, the time of operation, object type, and the object name, and what was the status and result. As you can see here, we have some kind of um, types and enumeration values which are not in this um, tables here, so we don't have an object type table here, but you can use this link You can use this link to uh, create some kind of helper projects, this help, uh, helper uh, objects and database tables. These helpers are quite useful for uh, getting the information of uh, 
about the uh, um, objects of uh, operations. For example, this is a schema of the operations tables and these are helper tables that uh, would be created if you follow that link. There will be a, a script that will generate these kind of things. For example, object type, this will create this table with this data, operation status and that sort of information. If you create all of these tables, then as a result you can <coughs> simply change your query <coughs> to some queries with um, um, join with uh, those helper tables and as a result you will see that this will generate uh, much more meaningful data which is for example this record was deployment of the project and the object type was the project and it was succeeded so it just used those helper uh, data so if you want to use that just follow that link in summary, in this video, <coughs> you've seen how to <coughs> use SSIS catalog in uh, uh, actually deployment of the project and how to use enable logging in that uh, SSIS catalog. And uh, you've seen built-in SSIS, um, uh, SSIS catalog reports and also you've seen uh, how to add helper tables to SSIS catalog to have more extensive lagging on the catalog.